Hey everybody, it's the Speed Freak. I'd like to congratulate the New Orleans Saints um, for their win tonight and um, congratulate all their fans. Uh, Joe Mega Beats, um, The Big Gravy, DZ, Saints Uptown, Hoot Out Football, and lots of others. Um, I'm not real great at remembering everybody's name, but you know, you guys did a real good job uh, repping your team, and then they did a good job taking the field and showing why they're the champs. Um, the Saints were better today, bottom line. Bottom line. Um, they pretty much shut down what uh, the Vikings were trying to do. Um, really good pass defense. Um, a lot of balls knocked down and routes interrupted and stuff like that. Favre was under pressure a lot of the time, although he didn't really get... Um, hit he, he was under pressure um and yeah the peterson was able to um, have some success running the ball but he never did break one and we needed him to i think uh for the vikings to win that game we needed him to have like a 60 yard touchdown run or you know break off a, a, a big one and he didn't and you guys played really well your defense was was great um the one thing I will take away from it, um, take away from this game that's positive for the Vikings, is I was happy with the way our defense played for the most part. The thing is, I mean, eventually they had to wear down. But, you know, to hold th that offense, um, one of the best in the league, right up there with um, the Colts, to hold that offense to 14 points, um, I'm, I'm happy with that performance by the defense. Um, unfortunately, they didn't really get much help from the offense. but And I know it could have been um, it could have been worse. You guys did leave some points on the field um, with the two missed field goals. But even if uh, Hartley would have made those two field goals and you guys would have had 20 points, I still wouldn't have faulted our defense for that. That's give, given, you know... Letting the not letting the Saints, but having having twenty hung on you by the Saints is not bad. Most people um, get a lot worse than that from Drew Brees and company. So I, for the most part, was happy with the way the defense um, performed, but um, our offense could not get anything done. Um, you guys played really well. Like I said, you shut down the run. You, you didn't totally shut down the run, but. Um, enough that, like I said, Peterson didn't have any home runs and um, you were good on uh, third and short and stuff like that. And basically you thwarted what the Vikings tried to do today. So hats off. Good job. Uh, I thought the Saints looked, you know, poised to make another run and they look great. Um, I said just before this game that um, I thought no matter what the outcome is, both teams would still still be Super Bowl contenders, and I still feel that way. The Vikings are going to get their offense figured out. I think it's going to take far a little time to get into rhythm with the receivers, and Berrien needs to quit juggling balls. Um, Kameen, you're right. You know, there he goes again, just juggling um, balls. I didn't see much of Harvin out there. I was in a noisy sports bar, so I couldn't hear the commentary. I don't know if Harvin was having migraines or whatever. But, you know, I just think um, our offense will come along. Shanko was the one bright spot. But, you know, I need, we need to see more from Harvin and Berrien. So, and... Uh, I totally, I didn't see Toby Gerhardt out there. I know they were using Albert Young. So we're, yeah, we're missing Chester Taylor for sure. We're definitely missing um, his production because he was our third down back. And where did we struggle? Third down. So um, we got ourselves into somewhat manageable third downs, but without without Chester Taylor, um, had a hard time converting. But I give the Saints a ton of credit for this win. And uh, you guys played a great game. And um, congrats. Congrats to all the Saints fans. Congrats to the Saints. You guys look um, really strong this year, and you know I, I think you're going to have a lot of success. So that's my curl. I hope that's good for everybody. I saved the um, worst for last. I, I wanted to get the crow up front for whoever didn't want to <laughs> listen to me sing. I, lo I lost a bet with Joe Mega Beats. Um, Prince wrote a horrible, embarrassing song for the Vikings just before the NFC Championship game last year, and Joe and I had a bet. He said I had to sing that song and, and enthusiastically sing it, 
And um, if this Vikings would have lost, he would have had to do his crow video in a paper bag. But obviously, he doesn't have to worry about that. And I, I have to pay up. I'm a man of my word. All right, Joe. So here it is. Um, I am not a singer, and I haven't really heard this song much or rehearsed it a lot. But um, I'm just going to do my best. So here we go. Every voice and let it be known In the name of the purple and gold We can in the name of the purple and gold All the odds are in our favor No prediction to bold we are the truth, if the truth can be told. Long reign, long reign the purple and gold. <laughs> right, there's a pause in the video that I'm using. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't think that was a full version. I'll do it one more time. Joe, if you want me to find a longer version and redo it, then just send me a PM. But I, um, this is what I wanted to get this up quickly for you, so I, I'm going to do it one more time with feeling. Raise every voice and let it be known in the name of the purple and gold. We come in the name of the purple and gold. All of the odds are in our favor. No prediction to bold. We are the truth. If the truth can be told, long reign. Long reign the purple and gold. All right, Joe. Like I said, bro, I am not a bet welcher. I know there's more to that song, but I wanted to have this crow video up promptly, and this is the one I could find that showed the lyrics on the screen, kind of karaoke style. Um, if you want the full version, like I said, just comment on the video. I'll, I'll, I'll give you what, what you want. And, and if you could send me a link to, like, one that I could, you know, a good version that you want, I, I'll use that link. Um... It's easiest, of course, if the lyrics are on the video, but if not, I mean, just whatever. So, anyhow, that's it. It was a crappy day for me, crappy way to start the season. The Vikes are 0-1, the Saints are 1-0. I think both these teams will be in the playoffs, but today, the Saints, um, hey, they prove that they're the better team. So hopefully, uh, if we do see you guys again in the postseason, hopefully the Vikes will um, put up a better fight next time. But you guys um, looked great, and congrats. And that's it. Hope you guys liked The Crow and uh, liked watching me humiliate myself with the purple and gold song.